Hey, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, sorry, the, the neighbor's mowing over here beside me. That's okay. I'll just speak up. We got this mower we have to look at for a neighbor up the street. I had changed the starter on his Ford pickup one time. And a little backstory on this. Uh, the problem is, I don't know what the problem is. So, let me, t let me explain that to you and we'll, we'll get into this. Okay, so I come out of the bedroom this morning and Monkey's sitting on the couch talking to her mom and she said, you know anything about a lawnmower sitting out front? We have a lawnmower sitting outside. Do you know anything about that? And I said, no, what lawnmower? She said, there's a lawnmower sitting out front. Do you know anything about it? And I said, no. So I went into the bathroom and then I remembered. A guy named Claude worked on uh I worked on his uh his Ford pickup here a few months ago. Changed the starter for him. And uh the other day I was bringing my grill out. We were going to I was going to put stuff on the grill for monkey. And uh well, of course I couldn't. It rained, but anyway, I was putting it out and he stopped in front of the house in his truck and he hollered out, Hey, can you take a look at a lawnmower? I said, Yeah, sure. He said, All right, I'll push it down this week. Hi, we are currently being recorded. So, he did. And, uh, but he never did say what was wrong with it. He messaged me a little while ago and said, you know, if you need anything for the mower, let me know. Uh, so, I'm not sure. I didn't ask him what was wrong with it, but I think I know. Because. Now, it looks to me like that's a fairly new string. And we need nuts. But. I'm wondering if they put a new string on it and just didn't wind it. So we're going to do that first. Okay, it's clear out of fuel. That's okay. But we're going to put a string on, or uh, we're going to try to wind this spring up, make sure that the springs, or wind, wind the rope up, make sure the string's okay. The spring is okay. And, uh, then we'll go from there, but I think that might be all it needs. I'm gonna see if I can find three nuts to hold that uh, recoil starter back on. All right, guys, I'll be back with you in a second. Hang tight. Okay, so what we gotta do is we're gonna have to wind this up. Now, sometimes they'll have a notch cut in into here somewhere where you can put the, the string, the rope, whatever, and wind it up. This one, doesn't but it'll go around but it feels like it's slipping so I don't yeah there's something wrong with the spring but for future references this one doesn't but it'll go almost all the way around well it, it will kind of right there sometimes you have to bend this this piece in or up a little bit to get the string to go by it so what we're gonna have to do is we're going to take this off of here yeah I can see right now the spring is broke and I don't think I'm going to be able to fix that well that's not the spring that that will fly out when you pull the when you pull the rope these will fly out and they catch into that cup and that's what spins spins your motor over and then when it starts and you let go and this spins back these will flip back in so I, I just felt this thing yeah see there's no spring action you may need to get a recoil um, let me go ahead and pull this off here maybe they didn't get the spring set right maybe the spring broke but 
I'm just going to get a little, looks like a 10 millimeter. We're going to take this off and we're going to see what the spring looks like. Alright. So tip, whoa, that's pretty loose. Well, that could be the problem. Um, let's go ahead and take this off and check, though. Make sure. Again, sorry for the mower noise, but you know, you got to cut your grass. Especially we got some, I got to cut ours, too. Especially when you got all this rain. Neighbor's riding a uh, zero turn. And he usually has a John Deere, so. Alright, so I don't want to lose this. I'm going to set it down there on the mower. These are the dogs that come out. Okay, yeah, the spring has been broke. See, they've tried to make it work and fix it. Right there. That's broke off. So, what that does is when it goes down in there, it's supposed to catch on this. Uh, I got a mower out back, but I think it's a Briggs and Stratton. And this is a Tecumseh. Tecumseh, Tecumseh, whatever. I'll go around and check and see, but I think the springs are different. Now what you can do, if I knew how it, it curved, you can put, you know, another bend in there to get that to hook in there like it's supposed to. Uh, but I'm, I don't know, I didn't see it, so I don't know how it, uh, how it was designed, how it was bent. So, let me go check my mower out back, and then we'll go from there. I may bring this up online and see what kind of spring it is, and I'll see what kind of bend it takes and try to put a bend in it. He may have to get another spring. I'm not sure. I can't remember if you can get just the springs or if you got to buy this whole, excuse me, this whole re recoil starter. Let me see what I got around back. Okay, so I put a little bend in this. These things are pretty cheap. They're about... You know, 25 bucks. Most of them's used. Um, but I don't know if, how soon he needs it. I'm figuring probably pretty soon. Uh, the way everyone's grass is growing. So, what that does is that little hook will hook right here. And then when you pull on the rope, it will wind it back up so like as you can see there it was winding the rope so I'm gonna wind this up oops dog came out well my dog came out but I mean this dog came out too um, let's get this in here alright there's a bunch of gunk down in the uh, cup there's some gunk here I'm going to clean out first. Uh, I'll show you. Right here. Get that cleaned out. What those dogs do, they fly out and they hook onto this and when you pull the rope it turns, it turns this. Alright. Then when you let go of the rope, the dogs flip back in. So I'm going to get that cleaned out. I'm going to find... Uh, We'll find a couple nuts for this thing. We'll see if we can't get this thing going for him. Okay, we got the starter rope wound up the way it should be. I got some bolt nuts on the bolts there. Uh, this is just one that kind of buggered up there. Uh, check the oil, the oil's fine. But this, there's a problem with this. What this does is when you pull that handle up there, that top handle, that's a brake. And this will pull and it frees it up, okay? But the, the cable is is seized up on it so what I usually do when I got to work on these things I, I made a thing well not that long ago actually 
that you clip in here and you pull this back just like a U and you stick it down in there and that holds it while you can work on it because this I did spray some that uh, PB blast in there but I can see down there it's not doing anything and this is an old one you can tell it's an old one it's got a choke it's actually got a choke on it <laughs> but it's in pretty good shape for as old as it is um, so I'm gonna pull this back also what this does this doesn't just stall it out uh, inside of here there's a, a ground wire for your coil that when this goes all the way back it grounds the coil out shuts it off and then this is just a safety break um, so like a lot of guys when they get done mowing they'll just let go of this and sometimes and that brake stops the flywheel and sometimes with and your flywheel stops and your blade still wanting to turn now sometimes when that happens it'll shear that key inside there I've seen that happen more than twice let's just say because people just let go of that and it's just like hitting a stump or something all right I'm sweating I gotta go in and cool off it will come out uh, I did check the gas there's not a drop of gas in there it's dry as a bone so someone drained a fuel out of it which is great so hopefully there shouldn't be any carburetor issues this is one of those ones it's just an MTD uh, I mean you can still buy these things for 110 120 bucks 99.99 sometimes brand new in the box so you want to keep the price down if this was anybody else I wouldn't even be working on this because I'd have to charge them at least 50 to 60 dollars labor that's half the price of a new mower uh, but he's my neighbor so I'm looking to try to keep him I may have one of these cables off my old one back there uh, I'll just have to see what kind of style it has here I don't know if I can get this like I said um, you know I'm looking at you know maybe making 15 20 dollars on the guy so I, like I said I want to keep the price down for him but you know I want to make a little bit but also I'm uh, you know I'm making a video for you guys like a how-to video so you know it's a win-win for both of us if I can get this going so let me go cool down and then we'll come back and we'll get that um, pulled open the brake we'll get the brake pulled open all wired open or zip tied or whatever and then we'll, we'll put a little bit of gas in there and see if that thing will start so hang tight guys I'll be right back okay so now there's another way you can do this you can take the spring off and it makes it easier to pull that back but and that spring will come off fairly easy but it's a pain in the to get back on so let me see I'm probably going to go ahead and take this cable clear off it looks like there's some fraying going on right here right there so this cable is pretty well shot even if I get it freed up it's not going to last that long but I'm going to try to free it up for him I'll tell him he needs a cable and if he wants me to put one on I'll order one for him and put it on for him or if he can you know if he wants to get one and whatnot but I'm gonna go ahead and take this cable off you gotta loosen this it'll come out of here this whole piece comes off okay so I'm gonna go ahead and take that cable off and then uh, and then what we'll do some of these you got to squeeze together here and some of them you can turn and they'll slide out I'm not sure about that one yet um, what we can try to do sometimes is you can squeeze them together and go to pull that cable out and that if that cable stuck sometimes it'll give it enough to where you can at least work on it let me get you in the stand and we'll try that first just to see if we can you know because if the engine don't run it's not really worth messing with I mean this this was nothing to deal with there 
but we have to have it to find out. You have to have this to find out if it's going to run. So we had to do that. So, all right, uh, let me get you in the stand and we'll try to get this pulled back one way or the other. Okay, I'm going to try to do this without getting in your way too bad. Looks like that side will pull out. Let's try to push this bottom side up in. There we go. And no, it's just going to keep popping back in there. Whoops. It's just going to keep popping back in there. But I can use this to pull this back. And let me get a piece of wire to stick down in here and down in there to... Um, Actually, that's probably enough, but it'll probably um, pop back up out of there. Let me get a coat hanger or something like that. Okay. I got one of these pieces of wire. What it is is uh, those things you put in for, like, air, air conditioner filters, heater filters, things like that. Um, so I'm just going to bend it. Oh, I almost hit myself in the face. Just going to bend this over like that and then I'm gonna pull this looks like looks like I'm gonna bend it right about here just like that I'm gonna clip this off uh, maybe uh. this is uh some of that wire I used when I made the uh, Christmas tree live that one Christmas okay see that's gonna come out easy so uh oh I cut it too short it looks like just a little bit too short uh, okay let me make another piece here real quick bend this back a little bit more kind of off camera here but make it a little bit longer let's go back to about here cut it off again I'm actually just breaking it off but that might be too long yeah that's too long <laughs> make it a little bit shorter <clears throat> probably still gonna have to go shorter than that but you get the idea of what I'm doing so let me get this made to where I need it to be and I'll be back with you okay so I got my wire on there as you can see our pull ropes working now I'm gonna try to put a little gas in it see if it'll fire up um, when I need to shut it off I know what you guys are thinking how are you gonna shut it off just pop that wire off of there <laughs> That's all. That piece of wire we bent, just pop it off of there and it'll hit the kill switch and break. So, alright, I gotta let my camera cool down, getting a heat warning on it, and we'll come back out and we'll check some other things before we, like I'm gonna check the filter and then we'll, uh, then we'll put some gas in it and see if it'll fire. Alright guys, I know the lighting's bad, but... I'm trying to keep you in the shade and I'm trying to keep in the shade I gotta get my garage cleaned out so I can work on this stuff inside to where I can have fans blowing on me and a little bit of air conditioning coming from inside the house okay see that's okay here we go one of them big palmetto bugs see that you know what was in there those are lizards that have hatched those are lizard eggs. So nothing got up in there. That's good. This is shot. He's going to need another one of these. I can't clean that. That's just too, too bad. So, yeah, there's palmetto bugs. Everybody calls them giant cockroaches. But they're not. They're actually a palmetto bug. Um, see, he's still alive. 
get him out of there get him out of there all right so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this bug out of here come on there he goes get off of me all right we're gonna put some fuel in here and see if this thing will start and if it does I'll let the guy know what all he's gonna need because I I just don't have one of them cables that'll fit and say if he wants to move farther with it and if he does fine if not that's cool I won't charge you much for this I'm gonna go show that to monkey that's pretty neat there's a better view for you pretty neat huh Huh. cool missed that one that one didn't hatch pretty cool I'm gonna save that I don't know why I just think it's cool another one of them days all right I'm just gonna put some of this in here two cycle fuel uh, no guys it's not gonna hurt anything as long as you don't run it like all summer and even if you do it's just gonna smoke a little and uh, maybe foul out a plug it's not gonna hurt anything there's no ethanol in here I don't know how long this has been sitting all right, so we'll there's about a quarter tank in there and uh, we're gonna get ready to start cranking on it there we go that's the part I hate I'll probably take it back there behind the Corvette on the concrete we'll go from there let's see I'm gonna make sure it doesn't leak first and we'll see if it's gonna run okay so now like I said I mentioned before there is a choke on here we're gonna choke it we're gonna give it a couple pulls see what happens Well, there we go. All right. What was that second crank? No smoke. That thing runs good for the year on it. I mean, there's the tag. I don't know if I can get any year off of it or num or anything from the numbers. Mid 90s, pro probably a night. I don't know if that's the year 96 or not. But yeah, it's an older one. So I'm gonna get a hold of him. To me, I think it's worth putting a cable on because I'm not gonna charge him that much. Uh, so yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a hold of the guy. I'll shoot him out a message and uh, see if he wants to proceed with it, which my opinion yeah it doesn't knock it doesn't smoke i think it's worth really the only thing it needs now is a filter they're a little pricey but if you keep them clean they'll be fine um for a few years uh yeah so let's see with my labor and everything he's probably still looking at about 50 bucks 50 60 bucks in there that's half the price of a new mower I understand that but man I mean that one's already broke in it runs good the oil looks fine to me it's worth it let me try to get a hold of him and I'll be back with you guys so called the gentleman up he said do it he said if you don't mind I'm gonna run to the bank I want to come down and pay you now that way it's all taken care of when you get her done just give me a call uh, so I'm, I'm not charging him extra on the parts. I'm not, you know, doing that. Uh, I got him the cable for his 11 something with tax and everything, about 15. I got him two filters and two pre filters for less than 10 bucks. So it'd be right around 10 bucks with, you know, tax and everything. Um, 
so that was $25 I told him you know $45 that's labor you know and everything and he said that's a great deal I'll come down I'll pay you 15 minutes later he shows up and uh, I you know showed him the cable and everything and explained to him about it and he said uh, yeah he said here he paid me and he said uh, there's a little extra there for you. you gave me 60 bucks for everything so he paid me $35 for labor when you know I was going to charge him 20 the same way with the starter that's how I got to know the guy he always sees me I'm always out here working on stuff so that starter for his truck he um, asked me about it I told him 20 bucks and I changed it and I did and um, he ended up paying me 60 for that he said but you got to lay on the ground you had to you had to lay on the ground you had to jack it up and I'm like well that's part of the job I knew I was gonna have to do that he said no that's all right so he always pays me a little more and that's good so I'm gonna get the parts ordered and uh, when they come in there'll be like a second part of this I'll show you how to put that cable on and um, the filters nothing but I'll show you that too I'm gonna try this out make sure it's going to cut all right and we should be good to go so let's fire this thing up and let's see if it's going to cut all right Just like that. <laughs> Man, I think that's good. Here, I'll show you. Damn. Yeah, it didn't even bog down or anything. Man, I think that's good. All right, guys. So, there you go. Another quick upload for you. I appreciate you watching. I got to go cool down again. <laughs> And uh, I may uh, try to get that old scooter running here next day or two. We'll see. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all stay safe, be cool, and take care. Bye-bye now.